the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum, and welcome to another episode of Talking Ship, where we talk all about our ship to you. This past Sunday, we had the San Jose Sharks Foundation on board, where they gave an absolutely generous donation towards our cause of community outreach. Together, we are going to better our education programs and more fun interactive exhibits on the Hornet. Today's episode will be focusing on Thanksgiving at Sea. This upcoming week, we have Cyber Monday and Giving Tuesday. We are a nonprofit, so everything that we do, the life and breath of the ship, is run by donations. If you would like to donate, please visit the link in the description below. William Nelson. I am a retired captain of the United States Navy Reserve, and I served for 27 years active and Reserve, but only five of that was active duty. When you're on on a ship, the Navy's very good at providing for appropriate food for holidays. And so the, the biggest problem I had was not gaining too much weight. I actually, I weighed more during the time I was at sea on the ship than I did any other time in my life because I just ate too much, too many calories. So we had turkey and we had mashed potatoes and we had stuffing and, and all that good stuff. And of course, there isn't much to do but eat, so we ate a lot. And there's cuts underneath there. The dough in there. You've got all your biscuits. They had, they had no, nice desserts. They baked, they baked cakes and they had things like that. I don't, I honestly don't remember what they had as being unusual. But they always had plenty of uh, d dessert, and so the food. The deal is with with officers, they they set up an officers' mess, so called, and the officers pay for that. But they get an allowance in their monthly paycheck, but they pay a mess bill every month. And then there's a an officer who is de designated as the mess treasurer, and he's the one that takes care of buying the food and all that. But so what they have might be different than the rest of the ship. But maybe not very different because the sources as you get out to sea are pretty much what the Navy's going to provide. So in my experience, the food was, was always pretty good. One of the games that everybody loved in those days was called AC Doocy. It's uh, equivalent to backgammon. Sometimes during the time when the ship was not operating, they set up um, volleyball on the, typically in the, they would lower the elevator set up a volleyball court so it was protected from the wind. And uh, I think there's some pictures of that down in the, in the, in the folk film of the men doing that. We watched movies and the ship, ships would, as they replenished, they would pass the movies back and forth. So, so we typically would have maybe half a dozen different movies on the ship playing in different places. And when I was stationed in San Diego, I met the woman who became my wife. She was a teacher. When I got off active duty, I went back to school and changed my major to become an engineer. My teacher married me and supported me while I did that. Now, none of that would have happened if I hadn't gone in the, in, in the Navy. I have uh, a son and a daughter and uh, uh, a couple of grandkids that live nearby. And so we used to always get together, usually at my house for, for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, now that my wife is no, is in a uh, <clears throat> in a memory care facility, that she can't do that anymore. So we're going to have dinner with her two days before Thanksgiving, and then we're going to have dinner with my son on Thanksgiving. So he's taking over the mantle of putting on the dinner, and that's something we did every year. Get the whole the whole family that was that was nearby, and it it got smaller and smaller as the years went by. I spent, you know, the five years I was on active duty, I was gone for all the holidays during that time, but most of it was not at sea. I was, I was out for eight months on a, on a carrier. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that you, ex that you accept as a reality, a normality, but you miss your relatives and what, whatever. Uh, it's a time that reminds you of your of the home when, when you're out there doing other things, you might not remember it so often. So, uh, so it's a it's a time that gets you back to yourself that you were before you, you went in the military. 
I think the military service is good for anybody. It teaches men, I don't know about women, probably the same, uh, responsibility at a very young age and uh, exposes them to life and death decisions at a very young age and I think prepares them for doing other things, whatever that might be, in a more responsible way. And I'm really sorry that they don't have required military service anymore because I think I think the country suffers from that. My whole life changed by my service. I, I got the uh, nerve to take on a profession that I would not have dared to try because in, in competing in classes and whatnot with other college graduates who, going through flight training, other people of different ages, different different places. I I competed successfully and it gave me the confidence to go back and do it because it was a hard thing. I had to I had to make up it the first two years and then do the second two years and then I went on and got a master's degree. And all because I had the impetus from what I'd done in, in the in the military. So I for me there's no question it was a good thing. Thank you so much for watching this special episode of Talking Ship. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and we can't wait to see you back here next week. Happy Holidays!